Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will talk about types of LVDT, advantages, disadvantages and applications of LVDT. So this is the part 2 of our topic LVDT. In my previous video, I had explained all these topics that is construction, working, principle, working and why it is called as LVDT. Okay. Uh, these topics were covered in my previous video. If you don't know anything about LVDT, please watch this video or you can continue if you have came here for the types of LVDT. So let's see which are the types of LVDT based on the electrical output, whether it is AC or DC. The LVDT is classified into AC LVDT and DC LVDT. Similarly, on the basis of armature type, the LVDT is classified into unguided armature LVDT, captive armature LVDT and last one is spring extended armature LVDT. So let's see the types of LVDT on the basis of armature first that is unguided armature type LVDT. Now see here that this is the movable core and uh, this armature actually fits very loosely here. No support is provided in case of unguided armature. Therefore it is called as unguided armature type LVDT. And to this the object measured should be connected to this point. Now also note that Armature must be attached to the specimen as well as now look at this body. The body must be separately supported and probably properly aligned here. Means that it is the armature, it must be attached to some specimen as well as the body must be separately supported and properly aligned. This is unguided type armature. Now Armature can be free unguided to measure the targets that move parallel to the LVDT. We can say that we can see here that it is moving parallel to the LVDT and needs frequent measurement. In this type of unit, the armature is disconnected from the armature LVDT body. So we can even disconnect the armature from the LVDT body. Now there is no wear and tear in the LVDT because there is no contact actually as there is no contact of the core with the winding or uh, remaining part of the body of the LVDT so uh, there will be no wear and tear and therefore in this case we can say that it has infinite mechanical life. Also it does not restrict the re uh, resolution and we can say that it has infinite resolution because no obstacle is there in between the core and winding. Now next type of LVDT is captive armature LVDT. Now the change is that in previous case there was no assembly attached to the armature. Now in this case Armature is both guided and restrained by the low friction assembly. Now it is, we can say, see here that some uh, metallic balls are used here and therefore we can say that it is now guided and restrained by the low friction assembly. And um, this is again measured object and it must be connected to the specimen. Similarly, the body must be separately supported. Means remaining things are same in case of captive armature. Now this captive armature type is specially used for the longer measurement ranges from 0.5 inch to 18.5 inches. So here overall uh, huge displacement can be measured with the help of captive armature LVDT. Now the armature is threaded to allow free movement across the machined bearing and uh, they are they are having advantages compared to armature uh, unguided armature LVDT that better for the longer working ranges and preferred when misalignment 
may occur so in this case chances of misalignment is reduced in captive armature now next type of uh, assembly is spring extended armature now in this case the change is this one here one spring is attached and we can move the armature up to the extension of spring means if spring can be extended up to this point then we can use uh, we can move this armature up to this point we can't remove the armature in this case as previously stated in case of unguided armature the armature can be removed from the body so low friction bearing assembly is again here we can say we can see here that now uh, internal spring is continuously pushed the armature to its fullest possible extension now let's see what's there in the spring extended armature it is also called as captive guided spring return type it has ca that captive guided and spring return type LVDT it is made for measuring the multiple targets note here that it is used for the measuring measurement of multiple targets or for the targets that mode transverse to the armature in the spring return armature the internal spring makes the contact with the target surface to measure the surface displacement I have already explained it this is particularly suited for the applications measuring changes in a structure's surface so this is all about the unguided uh, spring extended armature LVDT now let's see what is AC LVDT that is uh, type of LVDT based on the output power now alternating current types LVDT have better shock and vibration resistance and here is the diagram for the AC LVDT uh, some electronic circuit is not assembled here on the LVDT for the signal processing then such a LVDT, uh, LVDT is known as AC LVDT it has advantage again that it can be used for the higher temperature ranges that is minus 200 degree to 500 degrees Celsius it can also works with remotely lo located electronics then AC LVDT cost is less than that of DC but it requires separate signal conditioning equipment note here that the signal conditioning equipment is not mounted on the LVDT and it is placed outside the LVDT so overall uh, even though its cost is less then it can uh, have the higher temperature range that is the advantage in this case but overall uh, when we see the complete maintenance of the LVDT then DC LVDT is preferred now in case of DC LVDT it has signal conditioning equipment on the device itself as previously seen here that this is the signal conditioning module which is used for the signal conditioner here which converts the output of LVDT into DC signal and further it can even be connected to a computer now the limitations for the DC LVDT is that it has a limited temperature range but it is not very less as uh, we have seen it is minus 40 degree Celsius to 200 degree centigrade now built-in electronics eliminates the volume weight and cost of external AC excitation equipment so no external uh, equipment is required it is itself built on the LVDT this can send the digital output directly to computer system now the output can be digital also in case of DC LVDT and it can be sent to the computer system directly it is more cost effective and can work just well in the most of the environmental condition as I have previously stated that it is actually cost effective as compared to AC LVDT now let's see the advantages of LVDT smooth and wide range of operation then LVDT is very very sensitive it, uh, it uh, responds to small changes in the uh, displacement also then it has low hysteresis losses low frictional losses uh, or in some cases we can say that it is ha ha having no friction losses then it is rugged in operation it can tolerate high degree of shock and 
variation especially when the power is loaded with spring also its power consumption is very less that is less than 1 watt also then direct conversion to electrical signal is there because it converts the input signal that is displacement into electrical output directly then it has fast dynamic response means its response time is also very less now let's see the disadvantages of lbdt as it is an inductive transducer we can say that it is sensitive to stray magnetic field also it is affected by vibration and temperature variation so these are the advan disadvantages of L now let's move to the applications of lbdt so lbdt is used for the force tension pressure and weight measurement when it is used as a secondary transducer also it is uh, mostly used in the industrial applications uh, as well as in servo mechanism it is also used in industrial automation aircraft turbine satellite hydraulics etc so these are the applications of lvdt and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you